Yeah, I have my journey to UMBC is uh, actually interesting because I'm born and raised here in Baltimore. Uh, born, raised, and will pass away here in Baltimore. I mean, this is where it all started. This is where it end will end. I've had opportunities to go to other places, but uh, sort of fell in love with this place, UMBC. And I would have never thought that because when I played in college, I played at the University of Baltimore, and I told the story at the Hall of Fame reception. Uh, you know, it, it, we played UMBC in my second year, and, and I had a great first year in the first game and broke my leg against UMBC. So obviously UMBC wasn't the, on the top of my list, even though I knew a lot of the guys on UMBC and are longtime friends and, and to this day. Um, but obviously you have a little bit of bitterness towards just the school in general. So, uh, you know, I was at coaching at Essex Community College for 10 years and had a lot of success over there. And when the position opened, um, never really thought I was going to be here, you know, but Dr. Brown was the athletic director and I was intrigued by the place and always thought it had a lot of potential. So uh, I was coaching the pro team, the Maryland Bays, and we just happened to win the championship that year. And this position opened up and then I came over and met with them and um, kind of got excited about the potential here, what we could do at UMBC and uh, took the job. So never in my wildest dream did I ever think I would work here 31 years, my children would go to school here, uh, graduate from UMBC and I'd be here this long. So even when I was riding over the very first day, you know, kind of in the back of your mind, you're, you're thinking, um, will I be at UMBC past three years or is this just going to be a continuation of what I want to do? Um, and 31 years later, I'm not leaving and it's probably I'm going to walk out one day, but never go somewhere else to coach. And uh, clearly, as I said, I fell in love with the place. And the key is the people that work here. You know, I'm proud of the players, first of all. I think we've held ourselves, our reputation on and off campus, um, how well they've always handled themselves here on campus. Uh, a lot of them have their degrees and they're very successful when they leave here, um, whether their goal was to play professionally, which I would always support and help, or whether their goal wasn't accomplished as far as that was concerned, but they wanted to move on and get a job and, and I was always be there to help them. But also to watch a lot of them grow into, you know, they come in here as young people players and they leave here um, as, you know, graduates and they go on and they have their children and their families and they come back and they support us. So, you know, guys from my first year here are just as supportive now as uh, the latest batch of players that just graduated. So I take great pride in that. Um, I, I take great pride in the fact that we've actually got to a Final Four, which was an, an unbelievable accomplishment because where we were when I first got here to where we were at that point, um, it was always a goal of mine and it was a goal accomplished, but the goal was actually to win the championship. And looking back, I still feel like we could have gotten it. Uh, we could have won it, but we didn't. But uh, I take great pride in certain situations where people kind of doubt that you could do it. And I think that's the spirit that we over have over here that, you know, you don't think we can do it, but why not? And uh, we're always going to never going to back down from a challenge. And, you know, next thing you know, UMBC's in the the Final Four in soccer, and they're playing the, the mighty Virginia, and the place is packed with UMBC students and fans, and people all over the country are talking about us. So, you know, for me, that was that was a great great moment.